Uh, Troy, it looks like you're uh, suiting up with Brett Kulak here tonight. Can you maybe just talk about the opportunity for you in the final preseason game here tonight? Yeah, it's another opportunity for you know myself to prove to my teammates and the coaching staff that I can be an option. And at the end of the day, I think we're we're focused on our group now. You know, I think we're kind of out of that phase where guys are focused on their individual selves and trying to prepare for the season. And this is our last opportunity to you know gel as a group and kind of work on uh, knocking off the rust. So. Um, Excited to be a part of the group and uh, going to do what I can tonight to help the team win. What do you feel like you've been doing effectively to make yourself more of a consideration for that option? In, in the um, just being myself. Yeah. I, I pride myself on being a good pro and my work ethic, and um, I've come to the rink every day with a purpose. So, um, yeah, just being myself, and I think more often times than not, it's going to take care of itself. So. Um, be myself, not changing, and um, understanding what makes me successful. Is it always special coming back to Vancouver? Yeah, obviously. Like I started my career here, and then obviously my family's from here. And, um, I could go deep into it, but yeah, I love playing in Vancouver. It's a it's a great city. Um, enjoyed my time here, but I like being on the other side now. Uh, I know you want to talk about the, the collective uh, and not so much about yourself. Maybe collectively, what are the strides you guys have been able to take this week in order to make sure you're ready to go for next Wednesday? Well, I think a big emphasis has been you know, keeping the pocket of our net. I know it's preseason, but we've given up six, three, four different times. So um, practice is definitely ramped up. The compete level is a little higher. And um, I think because of that, we've definitely worked on our D zone. So I think that's kind of the main focus tonight is our group is you know, playing a five-man unit defensively and uh, understanding that if we take care of our own zone, offensive side is going to come. Defenseman, do you have to adjust your game at all when you're playing with a new partner? Uh, every so often because obviously with Brett Kulak tonight you've been rotating a little bit. Do you have to adjust your game at all? Maybe a little bit, but I think Cooley and I have been in the league long enough. Like I'm the same age. Like I've seen his game so much. I think he's seen my game. So we have some familiarity that way. And just being around here last year, even when I was hurt, just like rubbing shoulders with these guys, building relationships, I think that goes a long way on the ice with the communication. So um, maybe a couple tendencies that you'll pick up throughout the game that maybe you're not used to, but for the most part it's pretty easy. You guys ever played together growing up? No, played against each other a lot. Yeah, um, he's an Alberta boy. I was a BC boy, so uh, we crossed paths a lot in spring hockey and through winter hockey at different tournaments. Joining a, I mean, joining a new team is nothing new for you, but coming into your camp, like, does this is there a different feeling versus joining a team, you know, late season, as you said, you also deal with the injury and all that? Uh, just a little bit, yeah. Just like. I don't know, I think like first impressions like super important and lasting impressions really important and obviously last year like I didn't have two good showings like my first game as an oiler I took two penalties and was playing hurt and then end up you know not even finishing the year or getting surgery so um, just on an individual level I was pretty concerned about the impression that I left so I just you know had a focus of this camp and coming in and showing what I'm capable of doing and you know trying to show my personality and uh, you know who I'm who I am as an individual so I was a Kind of a different camp for me in that regard, but at the end of the day, it's my ninth training camp. Like you got to come in and you got to work and you got to earn the spot. That's never changed. So um, that part of it was the same. Maybe take us through the mindset of an athlete. How do you park that? How do you park that quote unquote tougher start that you had and make sure that you make your best one for it? How do you do that? Um, I don't know. I guess like for me individually, like this is all I ever wanted to do is play hockey, you know, so it's pretty easy to come to the rink and, and fight for what you've dreamed of as a kid. And, um, I think as a kid, like you dream of playing in the NHL, and the obviously dream of winning a Stanley Cup. So, um, understanding the opportunity that we had last year, and you know, being able to you know help out this group this year, it's pretty motivating on both fronts. So, um, it wasn't very difficult to come to camp motivated and willing to work. So, um, yeah, it's been good so far.